Two loves I have of comfort and despair, which, like two spirits, do suggest me still. The better angel is a man right fair, the worser spirit a woman colored ill. To win me soon to hell, my female evil tempteth my better angel from my side, and would corrupt my saint to be a devil, wooing his purity with her foul pride. And whether that my angel be turned fiend, suspect I may, yet not directly tell. But being both from me, both to each friend, I guess one angel in another's hell. Yet this shall I ne'er know, but live in doubt, till my bad angel fire my good one out. There's a lot going on in this sonnet. Once again, we're talking about the love triangle between Shakespeare, the Dark Lady, and the Fair Youth, but it's about more than that. It's also about the battle for Shakespeare's soul. Take this opening line, for example, two loves I have of comfort and despair. That can be read in two different ways. One, that Shakespeare has two lovers, one that brings him comfort, the Fair Youth, and one that brings him despair, the Dark Lady or that within Shakespeare himself live these two loves, these two inclinations, one towards comfort and one towards despair, in the way that we all have self-destructive tendencies that we battle within ourselves from time to time, uh, in the way that we're all part Sith, part Jedi, or we all have two wolves that live inside of us and we have to decide which one to feed. That's what he's getting at here. And I think he views these two different aspects of his personality as being tied to these two different relationships he has with these two very different people. Um, his self-destructive streak manifests itself in his relationship with the Dark Lady, uh, and his higher, more enlightened self he views as being tied to his relationship with the Fair Youth. And he's using this morality play imagery. Um, you're probably familiar with the trope of having the little devil on one side and the little angel on the other. Um, he's saying that the Dark Lady is this devil on his shoulder, and the Fair Youth is this little angel on his shoulder, and they're both trying to tempt him to one side or the other at all times. Um, and his, uh, his worser spirit, this devil, the Dark Lady, uh, wants to send him straight to hell by seducing the fair youth, the good angel, from his side, by bringing the fair youth over to the dark side. Um, and he says, uh, whether that my angel be turned fiend, suspect I may, yet not directly tell. Whether the angel, whether the fair youth, has officially been seduced over to the dark side, seduced by the dark lady, he's not sure. He has his suspicions, but he can't tell for sure. And uh, angel be turned fiend is a bit of a double entendre, because a fiend is a spirit that lives in hell, right? And hell, in Elizabethan slang jargon, meant a woman's vagina. So whether the fair youth is once again sleeping with the dark lady, he's not sure, but he has his suspicions. Um, but being both from me, having both of them away from me, and they're both friends with each other, he says, I guess one angel in another's hell. I guess that the fair youth is getting it up in the dark lady. That's, that's his assumption. Um, yet this shall I ne'er know, but live in doubt, till my bad angel fire my good one out. So he's like, I won't know for sure until the dark lady has her way with the fair youth and casts him to the curb like she does everyone, or it could also be implying venereal disease until my bad angel fire my good one out, until she gives him syphilis or gonorrhea or whatever and makes his loins burn, essentially, yeah. Yeah, so lots of lots of sexual and lots of uh, lots of religious imagery going on in this sonnet. Um, side note: this whole love triangle between the three of them really reminds me of the love triangle in *Cat on a Hot Tin Roof* between Maggie, Brick, and Skipper. I know that Tennessee Williams read his Shakespeare, and I wonder if he, whether consciously or or subconsciously had the sonnets in mind when he was writing that play. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah, but anyway, battle for Shakespeare's soul, 
uh, being fought between the Dark Lady and the Fairy Youth. Never ending. Anywho, uh, that is Sonnet 144. That's all for today. I will be back with more sonnets tomorrow. Stay safe, everybody. All my love. Bye.